The one main question we get asked is how do I determine what the size of my skirting block should be? So what you need to do is you need to match it based off your architrave, not your skirting, because this will be docked on site by your carpenter or by yourself. So all you need to do is tell us what size your architrave is. So if it's 110 by 18, we'll match the skirting block to be 120 by 25, making that that nice 10 mil bigger around the top. How we manufacture them is in 5.4 meter lengths, and that is how they're supplied on site to you. Again, your carpenter will dock this on site for you, or if you're doing it yourself, you'll be the one docking it. Then you can join it nicely into that. Some carpenters like to scribe it into the back of the skirting block, but others just like to have a nice flat butt and then butt it into it. What they're actually used for is to create a nice join between the architrave and the skirting. So that if they don't join nicely, like this one here, having that rounded edge, that will actually disguise this part here, making it look like it's meant to be. There are lots of different shapes and sizes you can have your skirting block. So from the typical splayed with a bull nose, you can then have it to a splayed with a sharp edge, which is quite nice with this one here, matching that design. Or you can have something that's a bit more modern, like this one here, or the one that's directed over here, which is also a square cut with just a little bit of a round on it, making it give it that modern twist, because that splayed won't suit this style of skirting and architrave.